What's up, everyone? This is Jemaya from Jamfrank35, and welcome to Mario Tennis Aces. This is my first ever time to, to a playthrough, and today we're fighting against Mario and Peach. And, well, we're playing as Mario and Peach versus Bowser and Bowser Jr. We're clearly pulling in the finals, folks! Fix your hands in the violence! <laughs> the unstoppable team of Mario and Peach is unprisingly reigning supreme! Bowser blew through on his energy with the, the first part of the match. Now he's in the pinch. Now we're at a match point. Team Mario is one point away from taking the championship. Yep, uh, since there is a continuation on the story, I will just voice over it. Congratulations, champs! What an amazing teamwork! Now, the best part! Let's take a look at that shiny trophy in. Uh oh, looks like we have some visitors! Congratulations, wow! Hey, we knew you'd steal another win! <laughs> Ain't our nice guys are we are? We have a little gift for you, the new champion! <clears throat> I need to do a better Wario impression. Hold on. Wah! And the uh, nice guys that we are, we have a little gift to honor the new champions! <laughs> this is the most powerful racket in the world! It's only suitable for the beast of the beast. <laughs> hey, what's going on? You two are acting mighty sketchy. <laughs> wow, you don't like the gift, Ma your gift, Mario? It's no other than the legendary racket from the Temple of Basque. <laughs> A legendary racket from the Temple of Basque? Could it be? Oh, yeah. No, Luigi! Excuse me. I don't see Luigi and the others anywhere! Where could they be? I have a bad feeling about this. Why and why Luigi are, are, were even more suspicious than usual? It sounds crazy, but I believe it was the racket script tape that wrapped up poor Luigi. How unsettling. Mm -hmm. Toad. You know something, don't you? That winning smile can't fool me. Well, it's just a rumor, but the say <clears throat> Well, it's just a rumor, but they say this island was once home to the precious kingdom of Basque. Of course, the Basque ruins in the desert is a relic of that once great kingdom. I hear archaeologists went there recently to research it. <clears throat> Tennis was very popular in the Kinnar Basque. The ruin walls are filled with paintings of people playing. Among with those wall paintings were was is one that very strange to say at least. 
<clears throat> I can't do voice acting all day. It's one of... <clears throat> it's one of... A spooky racket floating in the sky with the people bowing down up before it. It's almost like it, the racket is controlling them. A racket with mind control powers? Oh goodness. Wait a minute. Are you suggesting that Luigi and the others are being controlled by an almighty tennis racket? We can't rule it out! For now, maybe we can find out more at Bass Ruins! Yes. Mm -hmm. You're right. Let's go right now. Yes. Wait, 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 wait! That sounds dangerous! Too dangerous to for report to diplomats like you two! Aww. Princess Peach and Princess Daisy, please allow Mario and me to investigate on your behalf! Besides, it's possible Luigi and the others will turn up while we're gone! Yes, yes that is true, in case we leave this important test to you, dear friends. Yeah. We won't let you down! Come on, Mario! Let's head to the desert right away! Come on. Please don't put yourself in danger. We'll be awaiting your safe return. Oh. You're no strange... <clears throat> You're no stranger to adventure, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Please, just bring Luigi back please, uh, safely. Oh, man, my throat. The worst part is I'm going to be voice acting as Toad the entire time. This is going to be fun. Alright, so... Fast Ruins, there we go. Stop right there! Fancy is the best ruins. Unless you have a board business there, you better scram. But we need to investigate the inside those ruins! Can you let us through, lady, please? Well, why not? You don't seem to be troublemakers, but you should know that the best ruins can only be entered by those who play tennis. So if you want to pass through, you have to prove yourself by beating me in a match. Looks like we have no choice. Mario, we can't move forward unless we beat this guy or tennis. Let's do this. Man, my throat. <laughs> uh. Anyways, this is our first uh, level we're going to be playing on. Before we start, I see you have proper tennis, a terror, but no guarantee you can actually play. Go ahead and teach. I'll go ahead and teach you the basics. Oh, excuse me. I have a frog in my throat. A figure of speech, like a burp. I'll go ahead and teach you the basics of tennis before the match. It's only fair, since I'm basically a pro player. We'll start with a nice serve. First, give a ball a toss. All right. Well done. After tossing it, hit the serve. Uh, hit the ball while it's in the air to serve. Nice. Looks like you got a real knack for this. Try, I'll try and hit the. Now try hitting back your opponent's shot. That's called a return. Don't forget to let the ball bounce once before serving the, uh, returning the serve. It's against the rules to return a serve without letting it bounce. Do that and your opponent will get the point. Okay, try to return my serve. Nice. That's the stuff. After the serve, you and your opponent will hit the ball back and forth and try to score points. Of course, just hit the ball back to and fro 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 that's a word huh with uh, that button won't score you any points you need to a bit of strategy if you want to win to start aim at the spot far from your opponent move the left or right to send the ball flying to the edge of the court
Yeah! Woo! If you want more speed, try using a powerful shot. Press uh, that button twice to hit the ball harder than usual for a much faster shot. Oh, you can hit it twice. I didn't know about that. To hit the ball faster still, so use a charge shot. Press that button before the ball arrives to build power. Before hitting the ball, if you if you near the if you near the ball as you're charging, you'll automatically swing and hit it. Your rivals will also try to send powerful shots to the left or right side of the court. Try re to return to the center after you hit the ball, so that you have a good shot at successfully returning. You know the basics of tennis. That was me throwing you a bone. But now it's time. Let's begin. Let the match begin. Oh, man. <laughs> this is... Okay, I can talk while I'm playing. Um... By the way, how is everybody doing? I'm pretty sure everybody's doing great thus far. Okay, now I know how to hit the ball faster. <laughs> Alright. So far, we're doing good. No trouble whatsoever. Alright, here we go. Ooh, I got a lot of movesets. Let's see, we got a top spin slice and flat and lob. Yes! Yahoo! Match point. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No eating here tonight. Oh, no eating here tonight. No, no, no. You're not gonna eat. You're gonna on a diet. <laughs> Sorry, I had Finding Nemo on my mind, which is not a bad movie. I have to say. I mean, uh, I don't know why. At the past, I maybe it's because I don't like the sequels. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes the sequels, and hey, everybody has a, fear, a fear of sequels. I'm not technically like afraid of sequels or stuff, but I should press the button so I can stop talking and just continue the story. Oh, I lost? Seriously? I made to the second round of the real life tournament only to one day be bested by amateurs? Not gonna lie, that seems. I guess you're pretty okay at tennis. You can you could have warned me. Well you didn't let us warn you, so we're going to the Temple of Basque. <laughs> we're here at the Temple of Basque, the ground jewel of Basque Basque ruins! This is where those bo wall paintings were discovered. There's got to be a clue in here. Come on. All right. So there are some um, areas where you have to fight against the, some characters. Others you have to do things like these. This is a simple puzzle. Visitor to the Temple of Bast. Before allows, I require to display a skill. All right, here we go. All right, so that's all yours, basically. Do we? Oh boy. 
Let's try that again. Let's try that again. There we go. I wasn't ready. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Humra, 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 there we go! I sense strength and honor as well as great potential. I believe you have what it takes to overcome this trial. Use different shots you know to solve the mystery and open the gate of trials. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. One! <laughs> There we go. Huh, 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 Hey. Eight. Two more, two more, two more. Going up, going up. Nine. One more, one more, one more. Ha. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Woo. <laughs> that was close. Is that it? Well, that was easy. Ooh, what the? What? Master of Mario, I've been waiting your most fated of arrivals. I am. Aster, humble guardian of the noble King Basque. It's my duty to watch over the one called Lucine. Lucine, as you most certainly already know, is the name of the almighty racket. It is dangerous being with the power to control people. Hey look, it's the Infinity Stones! Sorry, I have to throw in the reference sometime. King Basque, who once ruled the kingdom, was awed by the racket's power and took it as his own. In the end, it destroyed the entire kingdom. But with the last of his power, our king somehow managed to steal Lucina and Lucina away. Why did I say Lucina? Maybe I got Fire Emblem on my mind or something. King Basque stripped the racket of its fire of its power, and then. He then divided said power between five power stones. You mean infinity stones, right? No, power stones. Okay. Which he hid in the different areas of this island. To ensure no one could ever restore Lucene's power to control people against their will, he hid the racket away in the secret room in this very temple. Since then, many ages have passed. Time took its toll, and, the, and that room fell to ruin, breaking the seal. That's when the racket fell into new hands. Yeah! Oh boy! <clears throat> <clears throat> I need to capture that toad voice. Oh boy! Oh boy! So, why why did you hear the myth of the almighty racket and stole it for themselves? That's not good. Lucina has no trouble at all controlling two men, so who will be motivated by greed? Yeah. I am certain that Pell Racket will try to gather the five power stones and create. I am certain that the that Fell Racket will try to gather the five power stones and reclaim its origin original power. I'm sorry for the tongue twister there. Our only hope is for you to gather the five power stones before Lucene does. It, it 
can surely sense when its power resides. At some point in your journey, I am afraid you will have to face those who wield Lucine's might. You heard that, Mario? You are going to have to face Lucine eventually! But how can we win against such power? You must master the powerful tennis move called the Special Shot, which has been passed down for countless ages. Do that, and you may just prevail. It is a contraption in the temple that allowed the ancient people of the Kingdom of Basque to train. Here you may discover new powers hidden within. In order to use the special shot, you must first master a new power called the Zone Shot. With your natural powers, I'm sure you have no trouble detecting the star point where it's easy to hit the ball so fast. If you jump high at the star point, you will be able to hit the ball various spots on the court. Okay, we got that down. Alright. Fantastic. Next power of the zone shot will damage your opponent's racket. An opponent those who last racket breaks from exclusive damage will be unable to continue, which means they will lose the match. Perfect zone shots and the way to approach the glorious game of tennis will be forever changed. That is no exaggeration, merely fact. If you think a zone shot as an attack technique, there is also defensive technique that can also counter it. It's called zone speed, and it sharpens your focus to extreme, seemingly slowing the flow of time so that you can easily chase down the ball. When your opponent sends the ball flying, allow all distractions to melt away. Get in the zone. I need him. Okay. Exponential. Let's retry that. Zone speed is a great way to catch up the ball, and don't worry, using it won't reduce the power of your zone shot. Also, wisely to work on your block timing so that you can protect your racket from your opponent's zone shots. Oh, let's try that again. There we go. That's better. As you're wearing, are you wearing Master Mario? In order to hit the zone shot or zone speed, you need to store up some energy. Zone shots and zone speeds are quite taxing, so your energy must be at least a third full in order to use these moves. To pull off such powerful moves, you need to find a way to increase your energy. You, your energy will increase gradually as you continue rallies and pull off charge shots. Excuse me, I have an edge on my eye. Ugh. There are also an incredible powerful move to call max charge shots that will build up your energy even more.
Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I'm... Okay. Okay. There we go. <sighs> Must be a little bit fantastic. One of really efficient way to increase your energy is with a trick shot. Ooh. The trick shot makes use of your own particular skills set to help you reach ball that are balls that are further that are far away. You can up your own enthusiasm or that of the crowd by making your opponents think they have an advantage and then easily returning the ball. You should know that trick shots are risky, though. If your timing is off, you'll end up losing energy instead of earning it. It's all about timing. bit late. Reaction time is fantastic. Nice! Nice! Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. What a wonderful trick shot. Okay then, I believe it's finally time for you to unleash a special shot. You can increase your energy in various ways. Try to max it out so you can pull off your very own special shot. A special shot is a powerful move that can potentially change the momentum of an entire match. When you unleash your stored up energy, the mighty special shot that unleashed will be on something that's you, you not quite you. Nice. Oh, wrong button. Ah, ah. Time to do 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 do. <laughs> All right. Mesmerizing. You have now learned all of that I can and that I have teach you. You are truly a first-rate tennis hero, Mario. Five sacred stones are hidden in the forest, the mansion, the snow, the sea, and the flames. I beg of you, please, plus, uh, I beg of you, please stop Lucine's return to power. All right. So we learn special shots and zone shots and power shots. This is awful! We got to gather those power stones before Luigi and the others beat us to it! Five stones is hidden in an island of different regions! Oh no, says Charlie! This is with... Let's start up with the forest! Come on! I can review how to play by accessing the menu after pressing plus or minus. You can also complete in free play or swing mode if you press plus or minus to return to the main menu. This will cause your game to progress to autosave. Oh, sweet! Unfortunately, though, we're gonna have to end it off here. So, uh, this is Jeremiah from Jamfrog35 saying stay jamtastic, and of course, have a ripid time. Bye, everyone, and take care.